Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We are currently doing a mission called Transparent Dreams, which is a hero mission for a girl named Fiona. Um, we're trying to figure out where this colony's flame clock is. The one that's up there is a fake one, and we have to track down the real one in order to destroy it. So, that's what we're going to do. Frost, Sean, you said you'd come back, you liars. I'm sorry to bother you. We were hoping to check out the old battle records. Ah, oh, right. Fifi said to expect you. Bear with me for a moment. Right, I've transferred your data. If you see anything interesting, let me know. Thank you. We will. We've made some new friends. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Welcome to Nico's Warehouse. I'm Nico, and this is my... Well, not my exactly, but it's a warehouse, all right. Look around all you like. Thanks. I won't be a minute. Nothing here really stands out. It's all as I'd expect from a colony with the rank their flame clock says they are. By the way, are you the one who does inventory management here? No, I think it might be the console. Nico only watches the warehouse. Nico, I should say, is me. Why would a console do that themselves? Interesting news. I've been craving some downtime. Everyone, a moment of your time? Okay, let's not mince words. Colony Mew is weird. And this is why you can't make friends. <laughs> I've looked into their combat records. For the past few years, there have been no large-scale combat engagements involving Colony Mew. That in and of itself is understandable, but... But we can't do that investigation survey thing you thought up earlier, right? Back to the drawing board, then. Well, perhaps, but what really caught my eye was the wastelessness, so to speak. Without any big wins or losses, not only were there no large swings to the flame clock total, there were also no interruptions to the colony's supply chain over the long term. So, what's that prove except that Fiona and the others are fending well for themselves? I've got to say, that's not really the impression I got of this place at first glance. We've heard them chatting. They don't really seem to talk a whole lot of training or strategy. And think about the personnel turnover. You saw the flower garden. Notice how young they all are. I, I did notice that, yeah. I wonder if... They're not beholden to the flame clock. What if their console... Yeah, what if they're actually free from the flame clock, but they're told that they're not? I don't know why that would be the case, though. Other than maybe that this console is trying to protect these kids. Add to that the console's extended periods of absence. Ignoring for the sake of the argument the insecure environment, the colony's military results couldn't really afford such stability. Come to think of it, didn't Fifi say their colony ranks stayed the same? Right, and the flame clock issue is odd as well. I couldn't stop wondering what the point of the deception was. We said we thought it could be to fool enemies, but... The soldiers here aren't given information. It's not even being manipulated, just flat out not being supplied. Fiona, Fiona and the others didn't seem bothered by it, but I think in the real world it wouldn't do them any real favors. Right, of the two sides, it's actually Fiona and the others that it affects. What was it Talos said? Something about not stressing all the time? Oh, back the stuff up. You're not saying... The people the console wanted to deceive. Was it the residents of Colony Mew all along? There's one more thing that bothers me. Looking at Fiona and the others, didn't they remind you of someone? They don't believe in anything beyond what they can see in the moment. Still, thinking that fighting is everything. Like we did way back when. Right, they're so occupied with the reality put in front of them, they don't think of anything beyond the her that horizon. In Colony Mew's case, they don't seem much interested in anything apart from the banner that Fiona carries. True that. As soon as it's about Fiona, they all get super passionate. You think they're being used? No, it's not a question of being used or otherwise. I'd imagine we're also only seeing what we want to see. 
So that's why Fiona was appointed commander, because she's useful for hiding whatever's inconvenient? If the Consul had to go to such lengths to devise this, there can only be one reason. The Consul is betraying Colony Mew. The raid we in interrupted must have been their doing as well. And then we've got to tell Fifi straight away. Gotta say, I'm not quite following the logic myself, but... We have to keep track of our progress. All right, let's get going. Time's a wasting. <sighs> oh no, what's going on? Oh, it's like back a colony. Fall. Yeah, another Mobius messing with us. Crap. We're messing up whatever plans this uh, console has. Tallow? Hey, what's wrong with you? Sorry about this, bud. Tallow! Don't worry, he'll be all right. But now... <gasps> that is so cool, I love that. Muse Consul. It was you, wasn't it? Irma? Reality, right? It's just so dull. That's why nobody pays it any mind. They'd rather chase pretty dreams. You really should have just stayed dreaming. <gasps> I just don't understand Why the purpose. Do something like this. When someone close to you gets hurt, you want to become stronger for them. That desire and sadness, they make for a quality flame. Is that why you arranged the attack? Conspired with Keves, sacrificed all those lives. Without some hardship, Humans don't come together. It was just the same with you. Cut the crap! How could you put Fiona through this? I know perfectly well what I did! She never once gave up. She wouldn't let the dream be all there was. That purity of purpose. It lifted everybody up. The need to support one another. She taught me that as well. <sighs> oh, well, ain't that nice? Learn this! What are you... Don't hurt my friend! Hmm. Even if she's bad, she's still my friend! Fiona! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fiona! Lance! So here's what's happening. Uh, Irma did tell us that she... No matter what, we needed to make sure that Fiona was okay. But the consul wouldn't take well to that, to what's happening, and the consul would have to do something about it, which is, in fact, her, and to make sure that Fiona's okay. So, this consul wants to be on Fiona's side, but doesn't feel like she can. She feels like she has no choice but to do this, and she's hoping that she fails here. Because she actually does care about Fiona. Stand up. You can do better than this. Please, get up. You'll do your best for the others, won't you? You'll do all that you can, and then some. Stop it! I'll fight along with you if you want. <laughs> 
I'll fight by your side against whatever it is that's making you sad, Irma. So please, stop calling it a dream. Hey, don't disappoint me like that. You've already made your choice. You chose what you wanted to see, and freely. Just how heavy is that banner? How many lives do you carry? Please, all of their hopes. You did say you'd shoulder them, didn't you? You said you'd never break up. You said we'd be together forever. Crying about it won't change the truth. The fact is, your friends are dead. Killed them. Damn. Okay. Show her what you got, girl. Damn, that transition. Oh, I pushed the wrong one. I thought I pushed switch. That was my bad. I was going to do some AoEs with uh, Noah's. Okay, we're gonna chain attack you. Do you think this plan might work? I might have the answer. Great. Everyone get ready. Allow me. I'm here too. This Mobius has a cool design. Um, so it's Mobius Eye. I guess that makes sense, Irma. Not hitting 150s, so uh, um, let's see. I need to decide right now if we want to trigger early. Idea. 
so we'll get 150 on the next one, right? All right, we're risking it. I think we'll get 150 on this one, so. Good. So two will come back, and they'll be our highest TPs, so I think we can keep this going. Okay, so at this point, now we need to trigger, well, any of them will work when it comes down to it. All right. Allow me. I can follow that up. This isn't the end. Come on, give me that defense down, do it. Don't resist. No, resisted it. Oh, she called in more ads. Yeah, we're going to stay focused on her, I think. Alright, we're keeping up with no problems right now. So I'm gonna try and save this chain for uh, some overkill. Serious. Got you. 
Um, I actually think I need to wait, right? If we start with her, I don't think we can continue the chain gauge. Yeah, I don't think we can start with her. I think that would uh, mess up being able to get the extra. They managed to get the break, but I don't think that we are built for combos, so I don't think we have topple. Do you have topple? No, you don't. That's right, you don't have it either. Damn. I'm with you. How's this for a plan? Hit the wall, you need to back. You have a lot of buffs on you, so share buffs? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, dude, dude. So, she's probably pretty damn good, huh? Um, let's see. Can we break 150? I think we can break 150. Oh, we barely made it. Okay, good. She did show up. tie on so this time it's Mio I knew there was a chance, I was just hoping it wouldn't. Because otherwise we would have been able to use all three of them.
1.2 mil! We broke a mil! Irma! You really should cry for me. Sorry. You were my friend. But I couldn't save you. <laughs> Fiona. You'll always be my Irma. So that's how they're doing. Okay, so up here... Hold on, where am I? Yeah, up here is where the fake one was. Now we're going over to the real one? Yeah. Also, there's a path up here? Where's this go? Look at me getting distracted. What else is new? <laughs> oh, I see. So like this entire thing was where the illusion was that was the, uh, their Pharaonis. I get it, okay. So, like, right here is where the Pharaonis was, but it turned out to be just a cliff here. I still don't fully understand what her game was, Irma. But, yeah, I don't know, man. It seemed like she was, at the very least, very conflicted about what she was doing. Wow, look at this. That's one hell of an illusion maker, huh? We thought Tyan's illusions were intense. This is where the flame clock was. How did we never see it before? Look, I'm not great with words, but I wanted to say, I'm sure she was a complicated person too. I'll never forgive what Irma did. I know I can never, ever forgive her. But if I'd never met her, I wouldn't be who I am today. She's taught me a lot as well. Just... just promise you won't suffer alone, all right? If things get too much to bear, you can always talk to me. Tallow's got a crush. Tallow. If you need to grumble or swear or call someone names, I'm your man. I'll get rid of all your worries. You can count on this turk in head, okay? <laughs> Same old Tallow. Seems like a good kid. She woke me up, you know. Irma did. Made me watch you. I couldn't move, but I followed every word you said. Perhaps she didn't want you to be alone. <sighs> but then, why? Why do something like that? I'm supposed to be the turkin head, not Irma. I... I want to know about these Mobius people. I have to know what Irma was thinking. Will you let me fight by your side still? No reason to say no. You're already our friend, Fifi.
as Fifi's guardians, new guardians, um, I, I approve of Tallow. You can date Tallow, it's okay. Don't ever forget how you're feeling right now. I think it'll keep you strong. Yeah. I won't. Not ever. So Lance was a lot more involved in that story than I was expecting, and I'm wondering if he's going to be the inheritor. That'd be strange, him inheriting two Here in a go. row like that, so late in the game. But he might be the inheritor of this class. Transparent Dreams is now complete. Through her dramatic parting with Irma, Fiona has gained much strength, hoping to learn more about Mobius she has joined the party. I'll do my very best. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Who's saying oh no? <laughs> yeah. Dang, Lan's like had nothing for most of the early game. I think he only got um he got Valdi's class, and that's about it. And now he's got two late, late on. So, roll as healer, a unique healer that applies random buffs to allies and can strengthen the whole party with arts. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Okay. I doubt anybody else. Oh wow, you have actually gotten Soul Hacker already. That's. Surprising. Okay. Well, if you have Soul Hacker, you can go to Signifer. And what are we missing now? You line him up. I'll knock him down. You can work on Incursor. Hero should probably be a defender if I'm going to do this. We'll do that. Me. Okay. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I gotta remember, I can change this class to be a defender if I want to, so... I'll just have to keep that in mind. Look at her with her freaking cape and Mobius gear. I love it. She's got a cape, she's got Mobius gear, she's got her eye patch. Look at this. Freaking Mio. Is this like a rare thing? Okay, a couple from Colony Moo are done already. Mew, not Moo. <laughs> Black Belt. I hope it made them happy. Comet Choker. We got it all as requested. And a Fiber Belt. Looks like we're all done. How many Napon coins does it take to complete those? 
Right now we're at 85. Use Nopon coins. Okay, five each. Or they're different. Okay. Can't do it for that one. Let's run around uh, this colony and see if uh, we can pick anything up. Talk to some people, maybe hear some rumors, etc. We've got the castle not far north and Arithia Relay base to the southeast. We've had nothing to worry about until now, but the Agnians aren't our allies anymore, so... Is that what's worrying you? A little yes, I can't really relax knowing that. But if we team up together, like we always have, I'm sure we'll be fine. So you really don't remember a thing from before you got attacked? I don't even remember being attacked. That's just terrifying to think about, losing your memory. You think Fiona's okay? It's a real cause for concern that she won't tell us anything. Doesn't want him to know about Irma. She wants them to remember Irma as a friend. A poster. There's something written down here. Cleaning duty, tallow squad. Make sure you close up the waste disposal bag this time, Nico. Look, I said I'm sorry, tallow. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of flavor there. Okay, we can do training here. There are two things that we can investigate. One of them is this poster. The squad assignments are written out here. Tallow Squad, Tallow, Kanata, Shu. Battle Squad, Ayase, Michaela, Irma, Sean, Summer. Maintenance Squad, Nico, Lotus, Frost, Su Tusor Tusore, Hilda Marie. The other one must be behind? No? Where's the other one? Hmm, that's weird. There it is. What you got there? Laundry duty, Frost Irma. I'll do it for you two this time, Tallow. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Colony Mew's future. Shall we put our heads together on this? Hey everyone, there's something I wanted to talk to you all about. A lot of people in Colony Mew still seem worried, even though it's been liberated. What can I do to lift everyone's spirits again? Do you have any ideas? I'm not surprised they're feeling shaken after a traumatic sequence of events like that. What about you, Fiona? Are you okay? You're not stressing yourself out, are you? I have to be okay. If I look like I'm down, everyone else will feel down too. Well, that definitely sounds like stressing yourself out to me. I know Tallow said this already, but you can tell us anything, okay? There must be stuff that's too tough to discuss with people in the colony. I was just gonna mention that. You still haven't told your colony about the console's true identity, have you? I thought it'd be better not to tell them. Aw, oh, Fifi. Besides, I just want to think about the future from now on. I want everyone to feel truly happy that we survived together, or excited for tomorrow. 
I want to bring those feelings back for everyone to make their sadness disappear. Well then, isn't it obvious what you need to do? Well, in Colony Mew, everybody works together as one. Isn't that what you all say? Why don't you try talking to the colony about what to do next, Fifi? I'm not sure how that would pan out. We can come with you. Would you like that? Uh, yes, please. We can ask for Tala's cooperation, too, since he knows all about the situation. Oh, but one more thing. Is it okay if I call you Senny? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Who, me? Uh, for sure. Hey, how come only she gets a nickname? You want one, too? How about Lan Lan? Lan Lan? Oh, that suits you so well, Lan Lan. <laughs> Guess you're Lan Lan now. You lot really wind me up. <laughs> alright, alright, enough with the nicknames. Let's get started. Connie Mew needs us. I'm sure Tala will help us out. Yeah, that was cute as hell. <laughs> okay, we still need to find some more white fog on the Erythia Sea. We haven't found the second one to discuss that with. How many levels can we gain at this point? 68. 11 levels. That's wild. I love it. Okay, good it's evening. kind of fun to just know that you could just do that at any point. Like, if we hit something and we're just, like, super pissed off about it, I can just be like, 10 levels. <laughs> oh, man. I shouldn't do that, but, hey, we can if we want to. That's the key. That's the key. All right, let's get going. Time's a wasted. Okay, we kind of need to go and check out um, Triton's uh, colony as well to see if there's a uh, quest there. Just leave it to me while Fiona's away. We can handle ourselves just fine. But do keep a close eye on Fiona while you're out there. The great thing about her is how she can power up herself and everyone around her in the same way. If you keep her next to defenders, you should have an ironclad defense. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Um, we really do need to... Might as well, yeah? Yeah, we, we need to try out this class. He kind of looks goofy as hell in this outfit. <laughs> Big, broad-shouldered dude. In what Fifi wears. <laughs> Still not as bad as uh, the Yum Smith. So you want to discuss it with everyone, not just the squad leaders? Mm-hmm. I want to handle this properly, since this is such an important issue. I see. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's get a message out. Wait, we might worry everyone if we gather, if we gather them so suddenly. Senny's right. Let's go and invite them one by one, face to face. That way we can keep an eye on things as well. Oh, sure. In that case, let's split up. Let's say we each take four people. How about we have you speak to Nico, Lotus, Tesore, and Gugu? Gotcha. I'll send everyone's locations to your iris. Then let's meet up in the square. Got it. Thank you, Tallow. Oh, please. I barely did anything. Thank you for coming to me for help. Uh, I'm getting so nervous. You're making me nervous, too. Is uh, Fiona's accent, is that Irish? Oh, why, if it isn't Fifi, how kind of you to come and see little old Nico. By which I mean me. We're meeting in the square? You making some kind of announcement? Got it. Just let Nico get ready and she'll meet you there shortly. Again, I I mean myself. I, I mean myself. Me. I'm talking about me. If you don't want to be confused, don't talk in the third person, girl. Hey, Fiona. Sorry, I'm still trying to brainstorm today's menu. Oh, we're meeting in the square, are we? I'm guessing I should go too. Well, alright then. I wonder what this is all about. I'll see you there. We got new folks on the map. Oh, that smells gorgeous. We're meeting at the square? Got it. I'll see you there. I wonder what it's about. Kind of exciting for some reason. We got new folks on the map. Okay, so I'm also curious. So, boom, we're here at Colony Mew. Um, let's see. Term five, five, seven. Okay, so there are some that are, I thought they'd all be like sub five or sub five. They're all pretty young, but four, two, 21, 
three, four, eight. Oh, this is um, other other groups. Gotcha. Affinity level reward, slow digestion. Oh, so this is how you see what bonuses you get. Gotcha. Now if we got, which I think Colony 4 is the closest to being maxed out. Silent Steps, okay. How close are we on that? Okay, two thirds towards five. I don't know why. Just cuz. Meh meh, meet and square? Okay, Goo Goo, see you there. Is this like a rare thing? Crystal anklets. Good stuff. Well, looks like everyone's here. I'm sorry for the short notice. I know you all must be a little on edge, right? That's actually what I want to talk to you about. I've been wondering how to raise morale around here. Does anyone have any ideas? I don't really mind. I'm happy to just follow your instructions. It's easy to overthink things when you get so much free time so suddenly. You just want my instructions? Any other ideas? Come on, anybody? You've got nothing? Really? Let's see, well, Nico, uh, aka me, wants to get some more provisions. And that's why you're in charge of the warehouse. Always looking for more food. Well, come to think of it, didn't the console used to do that for us before? Now we have to take care of that stuff all by ourselves, probably. Oh, the console. Huh? Hildy, please don't cry. It's alright, Hildemarie. The worst is over. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. How about we help Nico out and make today's dinner a magnificent feast? Oh, can we? That sounds great. Let's... Let's do. Goo Goo feel rearing to go. You're so cute when you're excited, Goo. Yeah, they're all just a bunch of kids, dude. Well, sounds like we're all gathering food then. Bring it back here if you find anything. Got it. Damn, are these kids gonna be okay? Let's do this. Uh, hey, we didn't decide who's doing what. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I want to gather some ingredients that the others might not be able to find. You want a bit of a challenge, you mean? I'm game in it. How about we catch some fish? There's some absolutely great fishing to be found around Migro's Rosary. 
Yeah, let's get a whole bunch and knock everyone's socks off. We got new folks on the map. Time to fish! Some on, relationships fishies. changed. Oh. Okay. Some relationships changed. Okay, there's something to investigate up here, so we're going to go and check that out real quick. Rise and shine. Ah, are these the assignments? Lookouts, Michaela, Hild Marie, Fiona, if available. I'll do my part when I'm there. Promise, Fiona. Oh dear. What is that one? Okay, he's a 47? Alright, if you come back, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> They're mids meat. Kick him aside! This one looking at me funny. Hey you! You gotta face me! <laughs> Hey, thanks. Let's top up on Ether. I don't know if I've ever killed one of these things. I think I have. I think Ignas have ridden them before, and oh, I fought those. This will be over like that. Ready 
Quality Moglum Liver. Oh, there's a shortcut right there we could have dropped. That's what that uh, magnifying glass was. Okay, 80 silver knob on coins. Damn, I needed 150.
Yeah, we're gonna end this one early. Should have just gone for it. So close to that 152. Oh, I guess he can do it by himself. All right. We made it, but only just barely. It's a good thing we kept ending with a defender. If you can manage to have a defender be your kind of like highest one to come back, then you can kind of cycle through pretty easily. And just slowly build it up. Yeah, Fiona's a great support character. You can come for me. Alright, we must have done enough AoE damage to kill the other one, too. Okay, well, at this point, I think I need to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.